Today I'll show you how to trim, cut and merge video files without losing any image quality by using an open source software called Lossless Cut. You can even rotate the video, create chapter marks in an existing video or export single frames. I'm going to use Windows 11 for the demonstration, but it will work for Windows 10, Mac OS and Linux operating systems as well. It's completely free, but I encourage you to support the project in any way you see fit. There's no need for any installation, it's basically download, unzip and run. Greetings, it's Simon from Tech Stuff. We're simplifying tech without the fuss. Let's get started promptly. Let's start by downloading the lossless cut from GitHub. I leave a link in the description. Navigate to releases and find a good candidate. I'm looking for the Windows X64 version, so I press show all assets and then the 7-zip file. In Windows 10, you might need to download 7-zip as well, but for Windows 10, it's natively supported, so you're fine. Right click at the file and select extract all. Copy the folder to a good space. I'll copy it to my C drive. Then open the lossless cut application. Now let's import a video file. Here's a countdown, counting down from 10 minutes to zero. So let's start with the trim function. Let's say I only want the first minute of the video. So I'll start by setting the marker on the one minute position. Press on the right key icon to jump to the next keyframe. Then click on the pointer to the right to set an endpoint for your selection, which will trim away everything after that point. Press export and we will see some information. We can leave it as default or press export again. I'll show you the result and uh, as you can see we've now trimmed down the video to only contain the first minute. It's important to select a keyframe since it's a video frame containing the entire image. I'll leave a link in the description for a more detailed video explaining video compression as well as video codecs. But in short, a video is typically compressed with uh, a bunch of small algorithms to minimize the size of the video. I-frames, B-frames and P-frames are usually the sequence of video frames where an iframe is a complete image, a b-frame is a bidirectional predicted image storing only the differences between the current frame and both the preceding and the following frames to specify its content. And finally the p-frame, uh, and it's a basically a simple delta frame containing differences from previous frame. So if you simply want to trim the video from a complete frame to another complete frame, you should select the keyframe in both ends, otherwise you might end up with disturbances around the ends of the video area. Now, let's merge two video clips together. I repeated the previous step and trimmed down uh, the end of the video as well. So now I have two clips, one from the beginning and one from the end. Let's merge them together. This warning will come up explaining the importance of the two files being formatted in the same way. Continue with merge. Now we have the merged video file. Let's do some cuts. Before we only trim the video, but we can also use the video in different segments by using both the left and the right pointers together. This will cut out each segment from the video. It's important to select the keyframes. So here I have three segments. I can either choose to export these as individual files or I can merge them together using the merge cuts option and then export. And as you can see, we have only the cuts available in this video here. You can also move these segments around by specifying which order each segment should be exported in. So you can for example select this third segment as the first, the first as the second and the second as the third. Making the countdown jump from around one minute to the eighth minute and then back to the second minute again.
We can also split the video in different parts without actually removing anything. Just select the frame to split from and then press the split icon to the right. I'll split this video up in 10 parts by splitting every minute. Selecting the separate files option to export each segment as a file, then press export. This results in 10 different files representing a segment per file. This can be even more useful if we instead set labels to each segment. Right click on a segment and add a label. By setting good labels we can easily export these segments as chapters to the video instead, making it super useful during the playback or if you'd like to skip ahead to a specific part in the timeline. To see these chapters we need a video player with chapter support and since Windows doesn't have any built-in player supporting chapters I'll quickly install VLC. And here you can see all chapters in the timeline. Or we can select each chapter from the menu up top instead. If you're into YouTube videos, these chapter markers can also be exported as a text by simply going back to Lossless Cut, select File, Export Project, Start Times as YouTube Chapters, press on Copy and you should be able to paste them right into your YouTube description field. Lossless Cut also supports exporting a specific frame as a still image. Simply set the marker on the frame you'd like to export, then press on the camera icon and voila! You have your still image as a JPEG file. It's possible to export as other file types as well. Like PNG. Last but not least, I almost forgot this part, but uh, it's also possible to rotate a video. Simply click on the rotate button, then press once for rotating 90 degrees, twice for 180 and so on. For widescreen videos, you might need to adjust the height when rotating to 90 degrees or 270 degrees. Simply change the aspect ratio on the window to view the entire video. Export and then, as you can see, we end up with a 90 degree rotation of the original video. That's all for me this time. Let me know in the comments below if this was useful for you or if you have any wishes for future videos. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked it and subscribe to the channel to get notified of future videos. I highly recommend you to take a look at my other tech demos and I'll leave all referred links in the description. Until next time, peace out.